Well, good evening and thank you for being with us on ADH. I'm Alan Jones. There's plenty to talk about and it won't always be what you're being force fed by the government especially in relation to the budget, which is being brought down as I speak to you. Few Australians will be listening. They are worried about their budgets. Mm? Albanese and Chalmers are not worried about you. They're worried about their future political fortunes. Everything they're doing is designed to make sure they're re-elected next time. Now, the greatest nonsense tonight will be the announcement of Australia's first surplus in 15 years, or a balanced budget. This is a phenomenal sleight of hand. The government are rolling in money because Australia sells the coal and gas that this same government doesn't want, and they sell it to what they would have you believe is our number one enemy, China. And Australia pockets billions of dollars, hence the chest thumping about a surplus. But the same government won't allow you to access the same coal and gas. Instead, they're responsible for the ever increasing power bills to households and businesses. And that's why if you ask any family out there, they'll tell you about balanced budgets. There are many double income households, I've said this before, some households with adults working two jobs. Forget what Chalmers says, all their expenses are increasing faster than their income. And as Lifeline has said repeatedly, people aren't ashamed to talk about financial difficulties anymore because everyone has them. And when you think that more than 35% of Australia's 9.8 million homes are owned with a mortgage, the 3.3 million homes under a mortgage will not be interested in Chalmers boasting about a fake surplus. The Ernst & Young Federal Budget Review gets it right when it says that while a surplus is a happy budget beginning, beware the ending. This is a temporary, very temporary budget bounce. As Ernst & Young has said, the Treasurer has promised to bank, quote, most of the revenue windfall. Well, that's crap. The government should be banking all of it and making some tough decisions. Chalmers and Albanese won't do that. Instead, the centrepiece of this budget is almost $15 billion of spending, allegedly addressed to the cost of living crisis that they've created. Who has created the cost of living crisis? Government. There is not a single critical issue facing this country that hasn't been created by government. Why have we had 11 increases in interest rates, allegedly to address spending to slow down the economy? Well, who are the big spenders? Well, Morrison was up there with Frydenberg, Step Up Jim Sharmas, and his state government mates, Andrews in Victoria, Perrottet and Keane in New South Wales. Spending tonight, $14.6 thousand million dollars. I mentioned over and over again that Perrottet and Keane in New South Wales increased government spending in one year by 26.5%. And now they're spending tonight to address problems that the government itself has created. Multi-billion dollar checks to consumers to offset the higher costs created by the government's dangerous and absurd energy policy. And I've talked endlessly about that, the economic suicide note. Just imagine a government mad enough to believe that our energy needs could be met by the weather, wind and solar. I mean, lunatics is not an inappropriate word. Just remember who created the crisis in our energy bills. This very government that is now spending your money to cover up their energy mess. Millions given to small business to become more energy efficient. Well, if small business had coal-fired power, and we ignored the stupidity about climate change, they would already be efficient. They have been in the past. They have been for years. That's how the country grew its wealth. All of this, a forlorn response to a hoax, which was once global warming, but we just had snow two and a half hours from Sydney at the weekend, so it's now called climate change.